Hey guys, how's it going? This morning was an early one for us. We got up at the crack of dawn, loaded up on some coffee and Timbits, fueled the truck up, and drove almost 400 kilometers out to the middle of a farmer's soya field to pick up this 51 shoebox that I bought. Looks pretty good, eh? Yeah. So a number of weeks ago, I got a lead on this car and was told the body was in pretty decent shape, that most of the glass is there, which is refreshing for a car that's been parked like this, and that it ran when it was parked back in 1983. So of course, I bought it, sight on scene. And uh, well, let's go see what we have. Welcome to Envision Prototypes. Now, from what I gather, this car, when it came out in 51, was an instant hit. It actually outsold Chevy by about 10%. People really like the styling of this one. This is the one that had the dual bullets in the in the grill area versus a single for 50 and 49. The single was a bit larger and well, the dual kind of paid off because you saw that in other cars in subsequent years. It also came with the 239 V8, which I believe had a barking 100 horsepower. I think we can do a little better than that. And there's nothing inside the engine compartment. Some weird gaps in the front hood area there. Doesn't look like the fender is really attached. The hood, it's got a bit of a dent in the front. Tops of the fenders are good. Back in here, typical spot. That's where they always go. And she's got no rockers. They're all gone. Somebody's done some amateur body work there trying to pull that crease out. We might end up wheeling a whole new skin up quicker. The door has been welded shut. And let's take a look. Oh, look, check out the interior, guys. Look at that custom chassis. That looks amazing. So they've got a rolling on one inch box tubing and two inch casters, two and a half inch casters. Kind of sunken into the gravel there. Yeah, there's no dash. And ceiling liner, non-existent. So it's just a bare shell, which is good. We don't have to deal with the mice. I don't know if you can see the cobwebs, there's tons of them. She's been sitting here for quite a while, probably since 1983, who knows? That roof looks really nice, really smooth. Something over the B pillar there, but nothing too serious. Rear quarters, the lowers, yeah, they're gone. Got those nice speed holes down there, I guess, to make the car go faster. With 100 horsepower, you need all the help you can get. Tail lights might be stored in the barn, who knows? Pinch welds are pretty, pretty crusty. She definitely won't run anytime soon. See what other parts we can scrounge up for it. Yeah, the back glass is nice. It's not fogging up even. So it's not broken, which is perfect. That's half the battle with these older cars. Finding glass is decent. Now I'm gonna see if I can get in on the other side of the car. Check out the other side. There's a big ditch there, so hopefully I don't disappear. Okay. And the roof looks good over here too. Good. She has been sitting here a while. That quarter actually looks much better. That fender lip is good. Oh, too bad. <laughs> the bottoms are gone. Okay. The tops don't look too bad. Oh, I'm sinking. Okay, so we're gonna get this thing loaded up on the trailer. Bring her back to the shop. Got one headlight now. I was told there's some stuff inside the barn. I'd like to get you guys involved. Spitball some ideas around as to what we should do with this. I'm not quite sure. I've got a few ideas, but uh, I'm not sure which direction we're going to take this. Throw it out there, guys. Down, put it down in the comments and let us know what you think we should be doing with this car. This is my own personal little pet project right now. So we'll see how she goes. All right, Dad's heading over to the truck. He's going to get that trailer backed up, and we'll get this loaded up. He might have the frame somewhere. I'm going to ask him about that. Okay, so we just pulled out everything the gentleman had in his barn. And unfortunately, we don't have a frame. That's long gone, but we have the, do have the garnish moldings for the doors and the windows. That's, that's a really good thing. Uh, one inner fender support. And it's not too bad shape, but uh, we probably won't be using that later on, depending what we put in. We've got a pedal assembly here, and you can see things are really, really, you know, it's seen better days. We've got a steering wheel. The anniversary edition, 1903 to 1953. So a few little cracks, but nothing that can't be resurrected. So 
So again, we'll see which direction the project takes us, but that's a really nice piece. Got a door handle, a couple door latches. In 1551, it came out with a better system. Uh, 1949 had an oddball system to latch the doors, so they're not interchangeable. So these are for this car. That's that's a really good thing. We've got the trunk hinges, but probably won't be using those. I like to conceal the hinges so you don't see that. We've got the beauty rings for the headlights, and they're in really nice shape. One little dent there. But the rest of them has come out nice. And then we've got the center section for a 50. So, hub which sits inside there. With some screws and it's really nice shape. So that's a good thing. And unfortunately we don't have a 50 cluster. This is out of a 53 that he had. So I'm not sure if we can use that or not. Or just go all new technology. We shall see. And then we have the e-brake. Which works. It's quite a nifty piece the way they set it up simple functional and you know for being so old it works really well so anyway that's what we have so we'll get this loaded up on the truck and then we'll get the car dragged up onto the trailer It could almost serve as lawn art. Oh. I think that's basically all this was, was just an ornamental piece. A couple bolts just stuck through the holes to hold things. get the body shell loaded up on the trailer first and then we'll put all the panels in after. Trailer brakes, disengage.
With the trailer loaded, locked, and everything tied down, let's head back to the shop. Well, we made it back to the shop and we're getting ready to offload the 51. He's just getting lined up. And it'll be kind of a one, two, three, and you'll slide her off. Easy. Perfect. All right, guys. Well, we just got the car offloaded off the trailer and uh, kind of late in the day to start anything new. So I figured I'd give the car a bit of a once over to see what we actually have to work with. And considering we have no firewall, no floors, no rockers, no rear tubs, no trunk lit and trunk floor, no lower rear quarters, essentially the whole bottom of the car is gone. Uh, we're doing all right. The roof is perfect, except for one little spot over the passenger side door. The doors are solid, inside and out. The hood, the trunk lid, they're almost mint. Uh, front fenders, they need a bit of work, but that's not a problem. We are doing well with this one. started with a lot worse than this. And, well, we had a client that mentioned that we're the St. Jude of Body Shops, or the Shop of Lost Causes. Um, what they meant by that was the fact that sometimes people will take their car to one shop, or a second shop, third shop, and things don't go too well and things will be in various stages of disarray. They'll bring the car here and we make it right for them. The fact that we have no floor really doesn't scare us here. So, just notice this here. Uh, this is an original windscreen or windshield out of this car. Uh, 50 Ford safety glass. So that's, uh, that's pretty old and it's still intact. It's fogging up on the sides, but uh, I'm not sure what we're gonna do. Maybe get new glass, new window cut for that. It's flat glass, so we can cut that ourselves, not a problem. Uh, she's gonna go into storage for a little bit uh, until I figure out what we're going to do with it and that's where you guys come in. I'd like to hear your thoughts and you know What do you think we should do with this? Do we throw a big engine into it? Maybe. Do we chop the top? Perhaps. Do we section it? Do a, do a full custom? It'll never go back to original is what I'm trying to say. So we're gonna have some fun with this one. So let us know what you think and give us a thumbs up. Really appreciate it. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Until next time guys, take care.